I can eat later. How's it going, YouTube? I'm doing outstanding. Noah's talking over me because he, I don't know. Anyway, he wants food. We're not going to let him have it. We are on to the second episode now. We didn't actually get finished with the task that we had set out, which was to get to the Call to Adventure. Uh, but that's okay. We designed a lot of the world. We're, we've started. Um, so what we've got world so far, building. we're outside a town of Gareth. It is a crisp autumn morning. I'll, I'll put that in there so that we have a better idea of when this is. Uh, there's a thick fog, uh, and a vera is a chicken frog. <laughs> uh, it hops onto the fence, it starts to croak, so that way uh, Jonathan knows what time it is. Uh, he rolls out of bed, he calls out at the creature, I think that still needs working it well, on. I, I don't I don't think that's something people do to, you know, roosters. They don't, like, be like, ah, shut the fuck up, you know? like. Well, this is an alien planet, so. That's true. They, they definitely do that. In well, life. yeah. Anyway, he stretches, grabs his timepiece from the bedside table, and it shows a slice of blue. Uh, <laughs> that's a reference to a Minecraft clock, but we're almost definitely going to change that. Uh, and then Jonathan, thinking to himself, it's like, hey, got to go to work, got to get feed for the herd, got to shear the... Aquines, I guess is what we're calling them. Oquines, I don't know. We're working Aquine. on it. Aquine. Gotta share the aquine today. Uh, tend to the plants. Oh, God. But first, gotta get breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so I think my idea for that is that uh, there's a machine already making it for him. Or else, if there's no one else living with him, how else would he get that breakfast? So he I think could... there should be a machine... He like can just over to cook breakfast. That's, I mean... Yeah, that's fine. I, I think originally I was thinking that when I said, mmm, bacon, but that, that I don't have any more, so that's fine. Yes. We, yeah, bacon is a little bit difficult just because that creature doesn't well, necessarily... Yeah. Anyway, right. um, I think we're going to give him like a traditional farmer's breakfast, which is like steak, eggs, bacon, that kind of thing, because the animals do exist. They're just fusions of other animals. So. Yeah, yeah. so the snake will have an egg in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutton, mut, mut, mutton, and uh, what, what's our chickens called? Avora. Uh, Avora, Avora eggs. Yeah. Or just eggs, mutton. And John eggs. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What John the fuck did I do? Oh God! One sec. All right. Uh, Jonathan. Jonas. Uh, Jonas. T T H. T T H. Thinking to himself. Nope. Great Scott. <laughs> Stick. Hmm. Steak and eggs, my favorite. Uh, how? Hmm. How would you? Hmm. I sarcastically. How, how would you? How would you put that? Sarcastically. Just. Right. Oh. Uh. Uh. I'm still going to write out sarcastically because it's hard to tell that there's italics there. Mm, yeah. Steak and yeah. eggs. My favorite. We actually can have more narrator as far as um, adding more depth. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing maybe not. I don't know. Nice. Okay. God, looking at the so, word favorite too much and I don't know if it's spelled right now. No, that's definitely spelled right now. I know. It just looks weird. So one one of the things is I, I think that he's gonna eat the same thing like every morning, without fail. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, now is that gonna be necessarily described into the story? Probably not, because I don't think we need to. Also, okay. change Planteras back to plants. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> They're still plants. Right. Yeah. Noah, you do your line. What? No, I, I didn't say I was done. Oh, I okay. am, but I didn't say it. Yeah, you didn't. Oh, yeah, okay. because yeah. Anyway, no. Uh, should I should I write that he unenthusiastically begins prepping? Yeah. Well, I guess that'd be a narrator thing. Well, well, my idea was narrator. Uh, Jonathan grabs assorted spices from the, the cabinet above, 
uh, puts them in, grills it on a high heat. I don't know, like, you know, you add more right. details to it. Yeah, no, you do uh, the narrator piece the, there. The dog. Okay. Uh, yeah, the dog nips at his leg, wanting food for himself. The garage? No. Sure, garage. It's, it's a gorilla dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, I imagine a gorilla, but a foot high. No, stop. Ooh. Whoops. Why is I hit I hit caps lock, not shift. Oops. What is he doing wrong? He was typing in all caps. Oh, okay. Well, you know. What was he doing? Baking you. food. Uh, yes, steak and eggs. I'm realizing that it's pretty easy for us to know who just wrote the last line, so I don't know if the coloring has to be like that. Well, it's easy it. now, but it's not going to be easy forever. Eh, maybe. We'll see. It'll be harder if we've written multiple pages we have to go back and look at who No, wrote. I'm not going to write that. <laughs> <laughs> He grabs his spices and pounds the steak. <laughs> yes, st- tenderizes the steak. I was going to say meat still, but... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Into... Oh, he slaps... Okay, I thought he was just going to slap it. <laughs> Jonathan heats up the griddle and cracks two eggs. The McGriddle. <laughs> Does he crack two eggs into the griddle? Yes. Okay. Except that, oh, yes. <laughs> no, he just cracks two eggs into it. Into yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. Jonathan heats up the griddle and cracks two eggs into it. He grabs his spices and tenderizes the steak. What with the spices? Yeah, he puts the spices on the mount and smacks it into the... Oh, okay. Good. That seems good. He vigorously slaps the steak into the griddle. Dishes? Utensils? Plates? Uh, as it... Right. No, as like the steak milk finishes, milk. I think, sounds better. Uh... Yeah. Steak the steak. <laughs> the steak the steak. <laughs> Did I type as the steak the steak? No, I Fine. typed the steak because I thought you were going to continue the end of the line, but then you just oh, deleted the line. Gotcha. So as the steak finishes, he prepares the table and, and sits down. I don't sits know. down. Oh, uh, is he going to have coffee, tea, something like that? Noah? What? Because he, he sits down as they're finishing and they're still oh. on the stove. Oh, well, okay. then Noah uh, doesn't sit down. He doesn't sit down yet. Uh, There's a table, period. And then squeezes and orange fruit juice. Or An orange is actually just a banana, but it's orange. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't spell that right. No, you didn't. It's okay, I got but it. I, and smiles at the awesome smell of meat. He collects his delic table delights and sits down at the table. Delectable table? <laughs> yes. Delic table? Delic table. Oh, shit, I left my cookie at your place. I'm going to have to come back and go get that. <laughs> okay. That was a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Here, I'm going to... Whoa. Hey, somebody is into... All right. Jonathan heats up the griddle and cracks two eggs into it. He grabs his spices and tenderizes the steak. The eggs finish quickly, and he slaps the steak into the griddle and cooks it on a higher heat. With So I, that that's a run-on sentence right there, and it definitely needs work. Yes. There's a lot of run-on there. But we'll fix it in a second. Andrew, don't know. Not yet. So, um... <laughs> One thing that I definitely think we should do is read each sentence out loud as like once they're finished because uh, it'll help with fixing the grammatical errors like that. Um, 
which is more for us to be better writers than for the channel, because I'm sure it's not that entertaining, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I think we should. So, the mm -hmm. eggs finished quickly should probably just not even be in there. I mean, there's well, got to be a better way to say that. You don't cook eggs. Eggs would overcook in the time it takes to cook the steak. I would read the whole thing for Sebastian. Okay, I tried, but then no, I interrupted. Anyway. Jonathan heats up the griddle and cracks two eggs into it. He grabs his spices and tenderizes the steak. The eggs finish quickly, and he slaps the steak into the griddle. Oh, that's better. He cooks it on a higher heat with butter melting on top. As the steak finishes, he prepares the table and squeezes an orange or two. He collects his delectable delights and sits down at the table, smiling at the scrumptious aroma. But he was already sarcastic about eating it. Why would he smile? Because he's always surprised at how good it smells every time. So while you, while you finish the grammar, do you want me to start writing my next line? Yeah, I would do that. Sure. Because we do need to streamline this a lot more than we're already doing. Uh, so I don't think we need to be over the top with this. I think no, we I, said I dish. Agree. He it's... collects his dish and sits down at the table. Yeah, that's fine. Smiling at the scent would also work fine. Or, no, you can just smiling at the aroma because scent is All right. not. It's not doesn't describe it in a positive way. It's a negative connotation. Yeah. Whereas aroma has a positive. However, aroma is more like flowers and less like meat. Eh, it works. If it doesn't, we'll fix it. It's fine. He's sleeping in the cat. Uh, the, the giant tub. John, are you cracking the grammar? No, hmm? I'm just reading it as it comes out. Well, you should read. It. You should try to correct yours. Oh, I've been helping him right. correct it the whole time. So, okay. Here, let's go back to the beginning and see if there's anything else we can fix here while he's writing. It is a crisp autumn morning in the town of Gareth. There is a thick fog. Jonathan's Avira hops onto the fence and begins to croak to show that the sun is rising. Mm, how about instead of to it, show um, that the sun is rising, it should be in response to the sun rising. Uh, to signal the sun is rising. Okay. Also, we should... Mm, we should... Mm, what? Starting our character off by describing the thing as his, as the first thing that says what his name is, probably isn't good. Why? Should have his name be brought up in like a. It is a crisp autumn no morning in the town of Bleh. And no, I think it's a good way a to introduce the character. Of... I mean, it, it's an immediate. But there, there's only one character him. introduced, and it has to be him. Yes, but it's describing his his creature before it describes him. Sure. Andrew, what do you think? I'm going to write this and then comment on that. I mean, how about... All right. I guess we can do... Anne of Vera hops onto the fence. Jonathan rolls out of bed. Sure. Okay. Hops on to... Jonathan rolls out of bed and calls out at the creature. That doesn't sound right still to me. Yeah, calls no, out it... to the creature? Call. Or just calls out. Silencing the creature. Yes, that makes most sense there. So, Jonathan rolls out of bed and calls out, silencing the creature. He stretches, grabs his tiny piece from the bedside table, and it... Mm, there's got to be a way to rephrase that sentence. He stretches, grabs his tiny piece from the bedside table, and gazes at it. How about we don't even know we don't even need to say that it shows us ice of blue. What we can do is just get rid of that. He looks at it in size. Yes. Well, he just grabs his timepiece from the bedside table in size. Oh my. So it's like Jonathan rolls out of bed and calls out a silencing yeah. the creature. He stretches and grabs his timepiece from the bedside table. Then size. Hmm. No, there's two ands there. Oh, wait, i got to remove the and from this one. That's why it sounded weird. He stretches, grabs his timepiece from the bedside table, and sighs. 
Yeah. Jonathan, thinking to himself, another day to work. Let's see. I need to get feed for the herd, shear the oak queen, the oak wine, tend to the plants. But first, breakfast. Mm, steak and eggs. My favorite. Okay. I just wrote those three, and I'm ready to fix it. That was good, huh? Okay. <laughs> Jonathan looks down and sees his best friend rover a small dagila. What is a dagila? Chinchilla uh, dog. Gorilla dog. Gorilla <laughs> dog. <laughs> canilla. Canilla. A canilla. Canilla. No, it's a cane, canilla. as in canine. Canilla. 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 I, I yeah, that sounds fine. I think canilla sounds fine. No. Rover doesn't. Dog, I know. That was I had Fido, and I was like, okay, all right. Um, let's see. What is a good name for a dog? That is also a gorilla. <laughs> Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> Tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted something that Enoch. <laughs> no, something something fun. Like something fun. Echelon. <laughs> no, how about this? All right. I have okay. I have a sports almanac here. I'll flip to a random page and pick a name. Okay. Clifford. He's small though. <laughs> Cliffy. Keenard. K I N A R D. Keenard. Kenny. I just call him Kenny. Keenard. Yes, Kenny. Kenny works. Kenny. Kenny the Canila. Kenny? Or, yeah, Kenny. Is it a guy or a girl? <laughs> guy. Okay, so Kenny. <laughs> Friend. Kenny. Gee, stop. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Jonathan looks down and sees his best friend Kenny, comma, a small Canila. 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 It's a mix between a canine and a tortilla. <laughs> His loyal best friend of ten years. Yeah, it's, a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit round, but yeah. yeah, that's a long, that's a bit. Well, so how long do gorillas live? No, 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 no. How long no, does a gorilla live? Is fine. It oh, I oh, thirty-five to forty years. So yeah, ten, ten years is fine. Uh, what's up, Penny? Ooh, 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 ooh. What's up, bitch? Oh. He hands a bit. He tosses a bit. I, I feel like I feel like he should do that right after it saying "What's up, Kenny?" Yes. Not beforehand. I agree. Like for example, look at look at narrator below. Jonathan pets like you all over overlays on his side, panting in a content mood. Oh, I didn't he, even he see that. Wait, yeah. what? Oh, oh I didn't even see that either. It is just yes. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no, you. No. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This one also, I prefer there. Kenny without the second E. Uh, yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll change it. And that's whatever. how I've seen Kenny in real life anyway. Yes, but I was trying to make it different. Okay. No second N. Kenny. What? No. <laughs> no, it tries to autocorrect to Kent. Really? So Jonathan looks down and sees his best friend Kenny, a small canila. What's up, Kenny? He tosses a bit of steak to him, for Kenny has been his loyal best friend of ten years. There. How, how about this? <laughs> uh, so he tosses a bit of steak to him. No, at st oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> he tosses a bit of steak to him, as he has done for the past ten years. As he has done every day for the past 10 years. Yes. Yes. He tosses a bit of steak to him, as he has done for every day for the past 10 years. Hmm. That's That sentence doesn't sound right. He tosses a bit of steak to him, as he has done every day for the past 10 years. No, that sounds mm, fine. I think there's too many he's. There's got to be a better way to say that. Well, you just do. As Jonathan has done every day for the past ten years. Yeah, because oh, how about how about switch it up? Jonathan tosses a bit of steak to him as he has done every day for the past ten years. 
Yeah. And don't forget, his name is probably not going to end up being Jonathan. That's true. You just do J Jonna. Ooh, I got it. Here, here, no, no, no. Here, here. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, that's, that's not grammatically correct. No. He's okay. I guess that's fine. Okay. No, he says. Wait, what? 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 No. So it's saying, "What's up, Kenny?" He says, tossing a bit of steak to him, as he has done every day for the past ten years. There. <laughs> uh, that, sounds, that sounds weird, like a script. I forget. Yes, the it does not. Script. Does Jonathan not sound right down. as part of a script. Small kind well, of, What's up, Kenny? He says, tossing like it's it's it, it it's like too immediate. Yes. I think Jonathan 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 thinks as Jonathan says this, he thinks back to I don't know you know like something like that. Wait, what? No. What? Where'd all the steak stuff go? <laughs> he tosses... Tosses... All right. Jonathan pets Kenny. He lays on his side, panting in a content mood. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, if you yeah. still want sure. what I deleted, yeah. you, you, no, know, you can... No, that's good. <laughs> all right, all right. Now it's Sebastian's turn. Okay. Wait, what? All right, let me delete this. I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. Okay. All right. Um... I'm gonna go. I, God, we're doing so much narrator, though. Mm. Yes, but there's not a lot of him talking. Really hard. In, in fact, the first words that he has said has, was, "What's up, Kenny?" Yeah. So the thing is, if we don't do it like that, it's gonna take us twice as long to write, and we're not gonna get as far. So let's just do it. Okay. Yeah. I want to commit and get some progress done, or else it's gonna take a long time to do this. His meal, or yeah. Uh, yes. Sorry. Sorry. I, mean, I shouldn't correct you. Sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. I prefer you correct me mid-sentence right. because okay. it's I'm, better. Yeah. Mm. I guess I prefer right. you don't, just because my brain doesn't work that way. Noah, it's a meal. <laughs> I mean, and, it's not technically wrong. No, but that's implying that he doesn't finish the drink or eggs. Yeah. Yes. Orange juice does sound good, though. Oh, here, I'll try to figure out something that's not an orange. Uh... Fruit. Or... And... Uh, the best thing you can do is something that's very vague, because you also want the reader to sit, understand what it is, just yeah. an element, and not just random words you're throwing to them. Yeah, a fruit or two. Yeah. Oh, no, an orange fruit or two. Or a ripe. <laughs> a ripe. Yeah. Also, the interesting thing is... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, walks over to... Yeah. The... What did he say, Adjective? Well, so first, I, I think we're going to have him. Uh, yeah, he's not going to feed him because he needs to go get feed. But uh, what yeah. we can do is he can go and milk them. Yeah. Yeah. Or survey the stock or something. Yeah. What was the name of the creatures? Canilla. Wait, what? No, Kenny is a Canilla. Yes. I, I don't think we need that. Fine. Let's just keep on going. Like you wouldn't say I pet Arthur and then he fell asleep or and then the cat fell asleep on his side. Yeah, this is fine. We <sighs> the, the people don't know what a canela is, and also what the way it said it before sounded like Jonathan was laying on his side. I disagree, but okay, whatever. Alright, it's fine. I think we keep on going, yeah. And we can't say and Kenny because the previous bit had Kenny in it and it would run on. Constantly. There. 
really? Whatever. Actually, you cool. know what? I, I am realizing we haven't actually described any of the animals, so... Yeah. One thing, it depends on what source we're doing this in, but you can always have a picture of what it looks like. In between its six legs. Like underneath, like where a cow's udder would be. Yeah. I don't know. We can <laughs> modify that. Uh, so after finishing his meal, Jonathan proceeds to rinse his dishes and step outside. He takes a deep breath and calls Kenny to follow him. The pair walk over to the Bovila. He lays a bucket down in between its six... Wow, that doesn't line up at all. Let's not put that there. Here, uh, okay. I'm gonna... No, 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 no. Here, put it back for a second. Why? Why? I'm gonna cut it so that it's only the picture. No, no, no. We don't and need no, it there at all screen. right now. We don't need it there right now at all. It's fine. We don't need it. Okay. Okay. Uh, the pair walking... He lays a bucket down in between the animals. It's like slicks. And begins to melt. I would say if it didn't have six legs, we would just not have it say six legs, but we would know it has six legs. So. Exactly. That's why I'm calling it out because <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So after finishing his meal, Jonathan proceeds to rinse his dishes and step outside. He takes a deep breath and calls Kenny to follow him. The pair walk over to the Bovilla. He lays a, um, Jonathan lays a bucket down. Do you think it's just a he or Jonathan? No, he's fine. All right. Yeah. I'm going to change it to sets a bucket down, though. Yes. Because Leia implies it's on its yeah. side or something. He sets a bucket down in between the animal's six legs and begins to milk it. Okay. So that's good. I like it. Uh, I think we should mimic what he said. Remember what he said he had to do today? Yes. Let's see. I need to get feed for the herd, shear the aquiline. Uh, aquine? Aquine. Yes. Uh, tend to the plants for first breakfast. Okay. So we should have those things done in that order. So what you well, not necessarily in that order. He should deal with stuff on the farm first and then go to town. So then we should change what he said beforehand, or else... Yes. Where is it? Yeah. But it also didn't say he was going to milk him. All right. It's the third line. See, you change it. Yes. I need... Well, I, you know, he might list things out of order, but they'll still get done. But... Uh, it just makes it easy for us, yes. I feel like. I need to... Milk... We can the bovula get uh, feed for the herd but I'm going to change shear the aquine to what well to earlier okay uh, here's what yes, I gotcha. milk bovula mm -hmm. something and then get feed for the herd I would say get feed for the herd is, ten, is yeah. final yes, yes it I should agree. be what's up Kenny Oh my god, they right. killed Kenny. Another day to work. Let's see. I need to milk the bovula, shear the aquine, tend to the plants, and get feed for the herd. But first, breakfast. Yeah, period. Uh, we probably... Mm. We probably okay. don't need to really describe what kind of herd it is. Is it the yeah. bovula herd, or is it yes. something else? Well, he, he might also just be referring to all his animals. It's... Yeah, it's yeah. Herd uh, typically it refers to a single type of animal. Yes, but it's an open enough word that it could also just refer to the animals. You can just, you can just say get feed for the animals. Sure. Yeah, because herd also sounds like there's a lot, and so far we're not implying this to be a very big farm. Now, bovula is also just not one of those words where you'd say bovulas. Yeah. So he might be milking six or twenty. It's hard to tell. So tend to the plants. What is what are we implying for that? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> hey, just tend to the plants is fine. It doesn't have to be specific. Okay. All right. So Noah, you go do your line. Oh, where did we leave off? Begins to milk it. Oh God, you give me this. <laughs> well, we're already at the uh, thirty-minute mark, by the way. Uh, so this is probably going to be the last one. What? Oh well, I I can add more details. I feel like we the, the be... last section, I should say. Oh, we should jump. We should jump to like. Finish the chores. I just have a sentence basically saying he finishes the chores and then just have him go to the market. Um, so what is the next stage we're going for? 
Well, so at the market, something should happen. Is my yes, opinion. yes, we've already clarified that. Yeah. Something will happen at the market. We just need to get him there first. I don't think we need to really start the story off as slow as we are. Yeah. So That's I. What I'm saying that it's fine to have detail if it warrants a plot element in the story. So, Noah, Noah, are you listening? Yeah, so I think I think I don't think you are because you're still putting more details into something we don't need details. No, 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 you keep on going, Noah. I have an idea. So right. we can add detail if we harken back to it later in him saying, like, for example, to the, the person that talks to him, whatever it be, the uh, call, who person who calls him to adventure, that, oh, I'm a normal life of doing this, this, and this. Mm. And then he, we already showed the readers that it happened. It's fine. Just well, I wouldn't do a whole page more detail of Yeah. I also, I mean, I guess, so, have you guys read War of the Worlds? That's incredibly disappointing. It's a great book. But it starts I off... Like to read. <laughs> what? I don't typically like to read, so that's the main reason. Hmm. Well, listen to it then. It's an audiobook too. Uh, anyway, it starts off really slow because it tries to give you the idea that uh, life is generally pretty slow for this character, and then all like everything just goes to shit in the next like 24 hours. And then, like, once it's normal? over, it's like, wow, it's only been, like, three days. This is crazy. Yeah. So I think, I guess it's not too bad to have this much detail in the beginning, so long as we don't maintain this throughout the story. Yeah. Is that good for you? Um, I'm not sure. As a short time passes and he finishes his chores, he gathers his gear and sets out for town with Kenny in tow. Uh, he gathers his gear. What does he need gear for? Uh, gathers his. Uh, I don't know what else to describe. Getting dressed. He's already dressed. I would assume. He got out of bed. He didn't get dressed. Oh. He would have been dressed before he went up in, most likely. Yes. Uh, I guess. Well, after no. I'll put it after. Up. Because he would before he goes to tend to the animals, he would. Uh, uh, Wait. Yeah. What? After finishes? No. No. Get rid of that. I, I'll, I'm fixing it already. Andrew? Yeah. So after finishing his meal, Jonathan proceeds to rinse his dishes, get dressed, and step outside. Sure. Can, what is going on here? Okay, that's good for you now. Can I start on mine? Yeah. So a short time passes, well, we'll and he finishes his chores. He puts on his jacket and sets out for town with Kenny in tow. That works. So, Andrew, I don't know if you were listening earlier uh, because you were writing your sentence, but uh, we think that we're going to have him encounter some sort of military-type people in town that are, like, messing with the townsfolk, but the character, Jonathan, is just not going to care that much until they start messing with him. Arr. Jonathan, R. Jonathan. Jonathan, comma, finishes. Noah, don't do that or I'll take off my headphones. <laughs> it's going to be real quiet for the people watching. Well, that's fine. It just don't say what I'm typing. There's nothing else to talk you about. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll just take off my headphones. What? <clears throat> Eight miles? Is he walking? Uh, yeah. I didn't say he got in a car or anything. He definitely needs to, though, because... Okay, all right. With Kenny in the passenger seat? No, 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 no. If you just say Kenny in the passenger seat, that should be more than enough to imply that they're in a car. A sidecar. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Passenger. Wait, he ties up his horses? What the fuck? So are we um, doing... Is he in like a carriage that has uh, horses, or is he walking there? I He's got a carriage. car. Like a truck. Oh, seriously? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice. He, he drives the eight miles to market, I'd say. Just 
I don't think you need the finishes. Yeah, I'd just say Jonathan drives the eight miles to market, I'd say. I don't think he can hear us. I don't think he can hear us either. And that's a problem. Huh. I agree. Yeah, I definitely prefer editing mid-sentence rather than waiting for it to be done and then trying to solve the problems then. Yeah, both methods work. Clickety-clack. So what does Jonathan look like? Gruff. Yes. He is seven foot eleven. <laughs> Here, uh, I would put his appearance traits up near the top with the other descriptors. Yeah. So far, we've got right. gruff. Gruff. suddenly hear his keyboard really well oh right his headphones have the mic on them don't they yep all right so jonathan finishes a mile drive to market he parks his car grabs kenny jonathan walks to the entrance to the market and sees a greeter so I'm, I'm assuming he goes to the market and there's like a person that you know like is there and he might well, talk to so we'll give us more direction on what kind of stuff is in the market or what he wants or whatever well a few things i'm going to change first he just okay. I don't think you need to say that he finishes the eight mile drive. You can just say he drives eight miles. Uh, I don't even know. So Jonathan drives eight miles to town. What? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Spelling it out does make more sense. Sorry. He parks his car and grabs Kenny. Um, so I, I'm basing this off uh, of, like, when I was with my grandparents on their farm, they definitely mm. left the animals in the car because they're not going to be in the feed store for long. Okay. It's also got all the feed store and not a market. Well, the, mar the market implies that he's not just there for them. I, I, I was just thinking about it like a farmer's market because they have, like, dogs with them and whatnot. So. Well, yes, but he's specifically going to town to pick up feed, which you would get at a yeah. feed store. Okay. I mean, that I, I'm just saying that's what we already said he was going to do, so it makes sense. Uh, it's like the part of his tasks in the beginning of the day. Get feed for the animals. So Jonathan drives eight miles to town, parks his car. I don't think we need to say he parks his car. We can just say parks his car. And grabs Kenny. I guess he can grab yes. Kenny. It doesn't really matter. Jonathan walks to the. Wait. Change right here. Your mic has gotten a little wobbly. What? His mic is getting wobbly. Hmm. So Jonathan oh. walks through the store's entrance and sees the great. Uh. The. Uh, feed store's entrance and sees the greeter. And, two. and talks to the greeter. Yes. Jonathan walks to the feed store's entrance and talks to the greeter. Okay. Alright, what time are we at? Uh, We are at 39 minutes, so we are going to want to end it after this sentence, which kind of sucks because we didn't do that much in this episode either. Well, we got past, we got out of his house, we're in town, we're yes. set up for we're getting closer. the hook. Yeah. So, Jonathan so, walks to the feed store's entrance and talks to the greeter. I do want to say something else before we end that, uh, because yeah. there's got to be a reason he brought Kenny in, uh, and I would say it's because the greeter's going to give him a treat, like he does every time. Mm -hmm. oh, That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Yep, yep. That is a good reason. Good dog. Good uh, gog. I'm assuming Hands. they just still be called dogs. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, what were you saying, Andrew? No, oh, nothing as far as I remember. Oh, okay. 
Well, no, I, th- I was saying something about dog. Hmm. I mean, it's not a dog; it's a canela. Yes, but they cl- well when they reference uh, targs in Star Trek, they also call them dogs. Well, we can they... decide to do however we want. Yeah, there's they might, but there's, there's pl- Wait. In, in any story, there's always lots of plot holes with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, for example, why can we understand the language they're speaking if it's a different planet? Like, why would... There's a lot of things that are unknown about how this whole process works. Sure. So we can choose whatever we want. Yes. Anyway, uh, so I think... So what what all did we add in this particular episode? Do you remember? Uh, I think we ended on, uh, like, steak and eggs, my favorite last time, maybe? Right? I think. Or did we end yeah. on him milking... Or... or Get it like coming up with his list. I don't even remember. We didn't get very far because we are doing a lot of corrections along the way. I think it'll iron itself out as we go. Um, once we have a better idea of how we're all trying to write, um, these first few episodes are probably going to be a little slow. It's just what it is. But uh, I'm liking the story so far. I, I like where we're going. So, what about you guys? What are your thoughts? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. No? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I already said. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. All right. Well, Bye. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments down below telling us what you want to see out of the story. We probably won't listen to you, but we might. We want your ideas. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, have a good one.